Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned. AUVSI's Brian Wynn participates in Disruptor Series. Drone Aviation introduces Fuse. And Scheibel's UAS flight test trials are a success. Hi, I'm Brie Cross. Welcome to the Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned Program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AUVSI. AUVSI President and CEO Brian Wynn has been spending quite a bit of time on the Hill. On May 23rd, Wynn told Congress that for UAS to continue to be integrated into the airspace and become a normal part of society, it will take a team effort between the FAA, the government, and industry to make sure that these systems operate in a safe and effective manner. Quote, the UAS industry is primed for incredible growth thanks to industry representatives and government regulators nurturing innovation that helps businesses be competitive in the marketplace, Wynne said. Wynne testified in a hearing by the House Energy and Commerce Subcommittee on Digital Commerce and Consumer Protection, where he spoke about the impact that UAS are having on society and the impact that unmanned systems can have going forward in the future. Quote, from inspecting pipelines to news gathering to mapping flood zones, UAS helped to save time, save money, and most importantly, save lives, he said. Questions specifically addressed to when surrounded the societal and economic benefits of using commercial drones and privacy concerns surrounding the use of UAS commercially and by individuals. With the individual use of UAS, Wynn said that it is important to educate people on the safe and responsible flight of UAS to make sure that people don't annoy their fellow citizens and that they stay within the law. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. 3D Robotics has announced the release of its all-new SightScan Manager 3.0, a web application. The new app has a simple, intuitive interface and allows users to go back in time without issue as users can easily navigate to any job and watch as the ortho mosaic transitions seamlessly from one date to another. Volumes can now be measured directly after a UAS flies over a user's aggregates in just minutes. Alta Devices and Power Oasis have announced that they are partnering to develop the world's first reference design for integrated solar and lithium-ion battery-powered systems for small UAVs. By combining Alta Devices' solar technology with Power Oasis' hybrid power systems, small UAV developers may be able to focus on leveraging their core expertise in aircraft design and performance. Earlier this year, the Special Operations Command Central made an urgent request for 325 lethal miniature aerial mission systems for use in the fight against ISIS. The system that has been delivered is the Aerovironment Switchblade. It can fly at speeds up to 100 miles per hour for about 15 minutes. The company has already delivered 350 of the drones to troops in the field. The crew at Aero News has uploaded dozens of archived programs produced from the floors of AUVSI's 2017 Exponential Trade Show, starting with profiles of innovative new products to interviews with leading unmanned tech players, as well as the FAA's Earl Lawrence and AUVSI's Brian Wynn. You can access them all whenever you like by logging on at allthingsunmanned.com. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. Drone Aviation Holding has introduced Fuse, its automated smart winch tethering system designed to meet the unique specifications for DJI-inspired drones. Utilizing a new power pack, the Fuse tether system maximizes drone use for both the Inspire 1 and Inspire 2 owners. By integrating the Fuse tether system, DJI Inspire users dramatically and affordably increase drone flight time with uninterrupted power from the ground facilitating long-duration flight operations by news media, first responders, infrastructure inspectors, and insurance companies, just to name a few. Fuse is based on the same military-grade advanced tethering technology utilized in the company's tethered products sold to the Department of Defense. Quote, targeting the enterprise and commercial markets is a natural and significant step for our business as we see increased demand from organizations in the marketplace for tethered products in the commercial price range.
Working with products produced by DJI, the world's largest commercial drone manufacturer, we look forward to enhancing the safety and flight capability of current and future DJI drone models as more businesses integrate drones into their operations, said Jay Nussbaum, chairman and CEO of Drone Aviation. The Fuse Tether system is comprised of a customized power pack and an automated smart tension control winch case with 200 feet of tether supporting 110 volt ground power sources, including portable generators. Scheibel's sophisticated UAS has been presented to the Norwegian Coast Guard, Royal Norwegian Navy, Royal Norwegian Air Force, Norwegian Coastal Administration, Police Directorate, as well as other Norwegian authorities during demanding trials. During the event held in northern Norway, approximately 162 nautical miles north of the Arctic Circle, the Camcopter S100 performed a series of challenging demonstration flights in the second week of May. Taking off, the S-100 presented itself for coastal patrol tasks. The Camcopter S-100 provided high-quality real-time EO-IR footage generated by L3 Westcam's MX-10 and also successfully tracked vessels and found persons gone overboard. In a separate exercise, the Camcopter S-100 UAS convinced the participants with its impressive range clearance capability. An area of around 2,500 square kilometers was scanned for vessels. Gunnar Jan Olsen, ATC CEO, noted that, quote, It was a pleasure to finally see the S-100 flying in Norway. Due to the great feedback of the representatives of the local authorities present during the two demo days, I am confident that this will not be the last time we see Scheibel around here. Well, that's our program for this week. In addition to this program, our daily Airborne Limited episodes covering the entire aviation and aerospace world are streamed Monday through Friday. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and tweet us. Get comprehensive real-time, 24-7 coverage of the latest aviation and aerospace stories anytime at aero-news.net and more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned at auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. We'll see you next week.